It's been a while since I've worked any production stuff. Back to my old ways. For some of you that might not know, I used to work in concert production, so a lot of stuff of what you just saw, I used to do a lot of that, setting up LED walls and loading and loading trucks at concerts and festivals and things and such like that. I did that for a while. It's been a long time since I've done that because after I stopped doing that, that's when I started taking on video and photo full time, but my body was hurt and after like two days of working uh, production and because it's just been so long. But um, my friend Terry, who was my drummer in my old band, uh, still works production and he hit me up. He's like, hey, you want to come down to her shop and help us out? I unload this big rig that just showed up from Hard Summer Festival out there in San Bernardino, which was huge rave they had. They had all the LED walls because they set up one of the stages at the festival, so they needed help unloading, organizing everything, checking each case and LED panel, and then we cleaned everything up because it's been a while since everything was shut down for the longest and they hadn't been working for the longest time. So we did kind of a, a inventory and cleanup day. So as you get, you saw, like we were cleaning up all the LED walls and stuff, so it was fun. Speaking of production, business world and photo and video, I am gonna be filming at Beyond Wonder, what is it called? Let me check real quick. Sorry guys, I'm not that cool like some of you to know these raves. Beyond Wonderland, right? Yes, Beyond Beyond Wonderland, uh, August 27, 28th. So I'm gonna be doing like a little mini documentary for this production company that I'm friends with. I'm really good friends with them. We're gonna be documenting the process of like, you know, loading up the trucks, getting everything out there, setting up a stage, what it takes to do that. You know, the people that work really hard behind the scenes because that's where a lot of the work happens to make these events happen. Everybody that works behind the scenes, building these stages, building the LED walls, setting up lighting, setting up audio. It's like a whole world of people. A lot of people, don't get the recognition they should you know so a lot of these companies do all this work you never really see that so I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing a video for them and I'm gonna be documenting the process of setting up this stage for Beyond Wonderland in San Bernardino be filming this gonna be like two days of loading and set up and then going back on that Friday and possibly Saturday to get footage of the show and the whole pretty much the whole spectacular that it is of raves because the production is just insane I mean the DJs are cool but the production is like that's what makes these raves awesome. So I'm gonna get some footage of that too. So that should be fun. That should be fun. And I got some more announcements coming up. Super big time announcements coming up very soon. I got a couple, um, but one is coming up very soon that I'll probably be announcing in the next couple videos. I'm super excited about it. A lot of good stuff this year, you guys. I'm, everything's kind of in a limo, but everything's been opening up and things are coming back and I've been getting busy and I've been getting a lot of great opportunities and just working with some awesome people and working at just, it's just, I'm super excited for what's to come in the next couple weeks and year and everything. Like it, it's gonna be awesome, so. But yeah, I mean, man, going back to my old ways, going back to my old ways. Ver this is the time, this is the time that we just like to come out and enjoy this beautiful weather, this beautiful sky, this beautiful breeze after a long, hot summer day here in Southern California. So I've been here in my studio cleaning up and there's something I've been wanting to do for the longest time and is clean my lens. At least there's two in particular that I wanna clean. It's the 28 to 75 that's recording right now and then the 16 millimeter by Sigma, which this lens is filthy. And what I wanna talk about is all the white, nasty, gunk, grime. I don't know what's in there, but I know there's a lot of stuff in there. This lens has toured. This lens has been on every shoot I've ever been on. Um, I've shot a lot of things with it. So all the vlogging and everything, as you can see, it is pretty disgusting. And the 28 to 75 Tamron that's recording right now also is pretty gunked up. And the focus ring is messed up on that. We'll talk a little bit about that in a little bit. But I saw online, some people use something like this which is the armor all like protectant for plastics and stuff for your car like if the front of your car is pr plastic um, this kind of cleans it up and protects it from the sun and all that and I've used this before on my car so I'm gonna try it on my lenses obviously if your lens is you know one of these kind of lenses that's more plastic rubber it'll probably work better opposed to like something like the Sony 85 millimeter which has like a metal ring which Oh man, this thing is super stiff now. If you guys know anything about how to fix that, let me know down in the comments, but I love this 85 millimeters. One of my favorite lenses, the Sony 1.8. 
but it's really hard to manual focus with this thing now. I kind of need it for video sometimes, but it's really stiff. I don't know if I dropped it or it fell sometimes, and somewhere along the line, the focus ring got a little bent enough to just cause restriction there. It's annoying, so I don't know how to fix that. I haven't really researched it to be honest, but if any of you guys know or have had that problem and had it fixed, let me know because I want to fix that lens. It's one of my favorite lenses. But right now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna clean up this, this lens right here. I got a white cloth, of course, to be able to see all the gunk that's in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake this up. I'm gonna spray, I'm gonna keep the lens cap on it. Obviously, I don't wanna get any of this stuff onto the actual lens. I'm gonna spray this ever so slight, ever so lightly. Hopefully I don't destroy my 16 millimeter. You guys can see, you still see some of the white. Hopefully we can get a lot of it out of there. Definitely dirty. I don't think I've cleaned this lens in a long, long time. And this is also non-greasy as well. So it doesn't leave the lens all greasy. So I'm gonna try to use this little brush to get into the crevices. Sweet. Let's get the Tamron, see if we can clean that. Now we're gonna clean this Tamron, which, look at this thing. This thing's filthy as well. Well, I'm gonna show you guys like this. But this zoom ring is just nasty. And on top of that, look at this. It's like warping. See this? I don't know if it's because of the heat. I've been shooting outside a lot. But I need to get that checked out. The focus ring is like coming off. It's weird. Let's see what the after looks like. Oh, very important. Lens cap, people. Protect your lens element at all times. Tamron lenses are great. They have awesome glass, but the build quality isn't always the best. But I don't mind it. You know, um, they do last as long as you take care of them. There's certain things that will start to wear on them, which is like weather and usage and constant usage. So those are things that are just normal. I mean, the better the build quality, the more they're gonna last, but there's just some things you can't avoid. But with the for the price, you have to, it has to suffer somewhere, you know what I mean? All right, let's see. It already looks way better. You can see how the, this is lifting, but this looks 10 times better already. Oh my God. Crazy. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, I mean, this thing works. You can buy this at like Target, AutoZone, different places like that. Armrel Original Protectant, you can see, it cleans your lenses. I'm gonna keep working on this a little more. And uh, yeah, you guys, try it out with your lenses. Your lenses looking like crap, aesthetically and make sure to keep your lens cap on and the back cap as well because you don't want anything getting into your lenses um and messing up your actual element i don't think it'll mess it up but you just never know you never know so make sure to clean your lenses maintain your gear and yeah so yeah i'll see you guys next time